and welcome to our tutor training workshop. We now come to a little more complex segment called Conversations. There are six steps to this segment, so you may wish to look at your instructor's notes and as I describe the parts. Let's imagine, first of all, that I'm the director of a great Broadway show, and I want each of you to have a part in my play. My first task would be to take all my actors to see the entire play so that everyone knows the theme and how the play flows. And what would there be their particular role? Well, this is a little bit of what we're going to be doing here. The first step is for you and your partner to model by role playing the entire conversation. So determine who is going to be A and who will be B. I want you to really act this out. Be sure your lines are what you want to say. Don't change a word each time you ask your students to listen and then when you model the first line. First, the person who is A, ask the students to please listen. And then for three, maybe five times, you and your partner act out the whole conversation. If it's, hi, how are you? Then shake hands and then add different uh, situations where you greet people. Pretend that you're knocking on the door or you're seeing somebody on the street. It's important for you to keep the same <clears throat> intensity, voice inflection, and rhythm in each demonstration. And after each demonstration, be sure to pause and say, please listen so your students know that you're starting over again. This is the first of the six steps. Demonstrate the entire conversation, acting it out in as many different ways as you want so your students understand what's going on. Now the second step is for you to teach your students each line of the entire conversation. Now don't skip this part just because you're having fun watching and mimicking you and your students are laughing. They have to learn all the parts of this play. Whoever is A steps forward and teaches the first line following the same sequence that we mentioned before. Model, repeat, and solo. When students are able to say the first line fairly smoothly, then B steps forward and he teaches or she teaches the B line. Use the same sequence, M, R, S, model, repeat, solo. After each line has been taught, the two tutors should probably replay the entire conversation one more time so the students can see how each of the parts fit together. And this completes step two. Step three is to have your students play part B, responding to you, the tutor, as part A. So give a student the B card and you the tutor modeling B should now come alongside and prompt their students when it's needed. If you're the tutor that's holding the A card then you initiate the conversation with your students and it is, this is really important. Be sure to use the same intensity and voice inflection as you did in step one. Don't drop it. Let the student holding the B card now respond to you as well as they can and then give the B card to another student and start the conversation again. Let each student have a turn at being B. Now once every student has had a chance to respond as B, then the fourth step is to reverse roles. Now the student will have to initiate the conversation and the tutor holding card B will respond. If you're holding A as a tutor now, it's your turn to come alongside your students to prompt them if it's needed. Continue this so everyone, every student has a chance to start the conversation. Now step five is called a chain drill because each student has an opportunity to say both parts of the conversation. The tutor holding card A begins the conversation 
with a student who's holding card B. Once that conversation is completed, then the tutor gives the card to B, and the student who has B now gives it to another student, and they become the paired conversation. Student A initiates the conversation to student B, who responds. And this continues around the class till the last student begins the conversation and a tutor who's holding B now responds to the student. Now this last step, step six, is called free conversation, which really means that there are many ways you can say certain things. For example, our greetings can be, hi, how are you? As well as, hello or, hi, what's up? And in some regions of the United States, you may hear, hey, what's going on? Uh, this is an opportunity for your students to hear and respond to different greetings in an appropriate manner. And it's important for your students to feel confident with their responses to these greetings. Now, this is a lot to keep in mind, so let me recommend that you follow what is in your instructor's notes or have these six steps written up on a board so you can refer to them as you practice this drill. If you're really going to be a good actor, then make sure your partner and your students are standing, not sitting, and that your students and everyone begins acting out their part. Now, let's take a look at our class again and watch how they model a conversation for us. Please listen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Listen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Listen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Listen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Listen. Hello, how are you? Repeat. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Repeat. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Listen. Fine, thanks. And you? Fine. Repeat. Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. And you? Repeat again. Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. And you? Listen. Fine, thanks. Listen. Fine, thanks. Repeat. Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. Repeat. Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. Listen. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Joseph, if you stand, please. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Very good. Very good. Laurel? Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. No, I'm not. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Very good. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Good. <clears throat> Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Good. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Very good. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. 
Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. In English, there are many ways of greeting each other. Hello, how are you? Why don't you let her finish? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. It's good to see you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good to see you. Hello. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How is your child? Hello, Joseph. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fine. I'm fine. Hi. What's happening? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Hi, Joseph. You're looking good. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? Very well. Good. How are you? Fine. Hello, Joseph. Hi, Natasha. What's happening? How are you? Fine. 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 Okay, it's time again for you to find your partner and students and start with that first familiar greeting. This will help you get started and help your students feel more relaxed too. After your team does the first conversation, take another one of those conversations from the same lesson. Now I want you to think through creative ways to act out the conversation. The trainer that's with you can help you work out any difficulties that you might have. And I want to alert you to the second conversation in Lesson 1. Here you are introducing yourself by name and asking for the name of the other person. In this particular dialogue you will have to teach Step 2 by using the actual name of the students, not your own. Now it's a little different but I know that you can work out the sequence of step two with your students. Be patient with yourselves. Your students are patient and they'll wait for you to figure it all out. Okay, back to your groups again and I'll be here waiting to hear what fun and success you've had. Welcome back. I'm sure you had fun, and I hope you laughed a lot and still completed the conversation. You know, isn't it amazing how simple and how much fun it can be to learn another language? This doesn't mean that it isn't difficult. English is one of the more complex, unpredictable, difficult languages to learn. <laughs> be grateful that you already know how to use it. And you as a tutor can make a difference in how your students learn and use our language. It can either be dreary, painstaking, grit your teeth experience, or an enjoyable relationship building time together. And I'm sure you've already sensed that how you and your students have begun to bond. I bet you can't wait to begin your weekly sessions together. Start as soon as you can. Okay. I'll be back with our next session on activities, and I look forward to seeing you here. Bye.